Tonight, there was a big party under the Colfax Viaduct in Sun Valley. The night market had music, food, and art from all across southwest Denver. It also has plans for the future and talks of how to keep the exist existing community at the center of it all. Connor McHugh is live there tonight. And Connor, the plan is to have even more events like this more often. Yeah, Kelly, this is part of a series of community events meant to showcase Southwest Denver through its food, its art, and much more. In the long term, though, the plan is to begin rethinking or begin rethinking unused spaces and then including the community in changing them. All the merchants you see here, almost all of them are from Southwest Denver. From music and food to a brand new mural highlighting Sun Valley, the Colfax Viaduct breathed new life Saturday afternoon. You are looking at what has traditionally been a parking lot. This night market is the culmination of a community's vision followed by months of planning. The idea is to reimagine underused spaces and even improve them. To finally come out here and see everything come to fruition is, is definitely amazing. For Carlos Maestas, it's also an opportunity. After cooking in this neighborhood for years, he launched his new concept Saturday, Litos Taquitos. Sun Valley really very community, community oriented, has a lot of talent, and I think the night market here is that uh, platform for us to showcase that, those talents. This market is one of five planned across southwest Denver this year, but the hope is to make more permanent spaces long term, especially as the area sees new development every day and could see more. If they put everything that's planned, all the buildings, you know, the multi-use development, um, putting a community marketplace here will only add to that. For now, these markets are a start, showcasing a space's potential through people and culture. When the community comes and sees the passion, the love, and the, the synergy that's here, I think it's gonna draw them back. That energy is gonna draw them back into this space. There will be another night market here at this site in August. After that, there will be two others in the fall in different parts of southwest Denver. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you. We